Well, if you're having a problem running a program, a game, especially in Windows 8 under, with compatibility, well, there's several different ways to do that. One is to go find a program. And here I'm, I'm in a program. I'm looking in my uh, Steam where all my games are, and I'm looking at Borderlands. And I'm using this because if I right-click on uh, this particular EXE here to try to run it in compatibility mode, not that I'm having a problem with Borderlands. This is just an example. I go here to Properties, and you'll see that, oh, look, there's no pro there's no compatibility mode. What happens when you run try to run a program is you can't do that with. Uh, for example, if I go to Borderlands 2 and I go to the EXE here and I say properties, it happens it has it, even though it's a newer program, it really doesn't need it. By the way, none of, neither one of these really need it. Borderlands runs fine on my system at least, uh, with just without uh, compatibility. But for the purposes of uh, of example how do you run this with when you don't have that it's a very simple way to do that you can do two things you can try first of all and you know, when you click on borderlands go down here and create shortcut and try to see if the shortcut will come up with a compatibility mode tab if you go there oh I still don't have one okay so that's not the answer here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, look in advance we can run it as administrator uh, that solves some issues sometimes but really you don't need to do that uh, so we're going to go ahead and delete that shortcut. But what I'm really going to do now is try to figure out how to run this. So to do that, I'm going to go to Windows, Start Screen. I'm just going to start my search by typing Run Programs Made for Earlier Versions of Windows. And I click on that. <coughs> so what comes up is this Program trouble, Troubleshooter, Compatibility Troubleshooter. It says Fix, Find and Fix Programs, Older Programs on this Version of Windows. And you say Next. You click here and it says, oh, searching for programs. It's actually going to go out to your computer and try to find all the programs that might have a problem. And here is the list. We look down here, all these different ones. And you notice that uh, if we look around here, oh, we have to go back up and look for Borderlands, and Borderlands not listed. Well, uh, it might be called Play Borderlands or something like Play, you know, uh, Counter-Strike Play. Uh, any of the programs that you can't find, you have to look around and make sure it's not listed. If it's not, just go up here to click Not Listed, and you click on the Next button, and then you can browse to it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and browse this PC for the same uh, program we find over there. We're going to go over here and say, this PC, my games are in my gaming uh, hard drive under Games. And this one it happens to be under Steam. And it's underneath the uh, Steam programs. Oh, yeah, which is down here under Steam apps and then Comet. And finally, we go down here to uh, Borderlands. And we go back to Binary. So we're at the same place, and there it is. If we click on that, it puts it in there, and we say Next to start the troubleshooter. So we're going to go ahead and say Try Recommended. Programs. We can say troubleshoot, but we're going to try the recommended settings. We're going to click on here, and it says here, oh, it says, hey, use Windows 7, because this was designed under Windows 7. So we have to test the program first. You simply click on the test the program, and then it'll go out and launch that program. And as you can see, sure enough here, Borderlands has uh, come up. Now, I'm not showing you the the actual render program, but you can say, save that. If it works, you say save or try it again using a different setting. And you just play with this until you get one that works uh, for you. Uh, so it's very easy for you to, to run that. Now, there's other different things here. That what problems do you notice? Uh, trying to figure out what the heck's actually going wrong. To try and go through the troubleshooter a little more detail. Now, you'll notice if you go back after you figure all this stuff out and you look at the, the program and you right-click on it, the compatibility tab doesn't appear, so you have to go through this troubleshooter each time you want to change this, how this thing runs, change the settings on how this runs. Now, the truth be known, I have another video out there that shows 100 game demos uh, that all run fine under Windows 8. Very little tweaking uh, need to be done. Uh, so Windows 8 is mostly compatible, but if you have that one nagging program that you love, it won't run. Try to use this, this troubleshooter to fix your problem. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to, which is what this one's going to be under. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.